Alright, so we're finna go on in the work, man. I'm taking y'all with me, man. Let's go. So yeah, man, so um I'm gonna do uh what we're doing. We're doing a big ass warehouse in uh McDonough, Georgia, man. And um ugh. And I'm uh I'ma show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit on the mixer truck side of things tonight, so or this morning, I should say, because it's super, super, super. We start, the thing with driving a mixer truck is the schedule, right? So we start all kinds of uh, times, bro. Like, like right now, it's 12.30 and I'm going in. Oh, man, my keys. It's 12.30 and I'm going in now. 12.30 in the morning. And we're going to run all night. So it's 12.30 in the morning and we're going to run all night long, so all the way till morning so the highway is empty right now and Tama we're gonna see the highway get congested with people waking up and going into work so I'm gonna drive more into work man and I'm, uh, I'm gonna bring y'all on this journey with me in the morning man I'm um, pouring out uh, concrete at this uh for this new warehouse that we're building down here in, um, in uh, McDonough Georgia so I know a lot of y'all, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. A lot of y'all was uh, saying that you didn't know. Yeah, That's another thing too. I didn't even tell y'all I got my class my class B uh, license, man. I've been so busy. I got my class B license. Um, I still got my class A permit because this company only hired with uh, for uh, class B I got. So um, I'm still gonna uh, get my uh, class A's because y'all already know where your boy trying to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be in that, you know what I'm saying? That, 18 wheeler, you know what I mean? I'm trying to be in that, you know what I mean? That peak, you know what I mean? Ooh, you know what I mean? One day, you know what I mean? Like these, you feel me? I'm trying to be like these, you know what I'm saying? You know, dreams of that Peterbilt, yeah. So, um, we're going to get there, though. Yeah, and it's cool because y'all get to see me from the bottom. Like, literally, from not driving trucks to now driving the truck to next step, the big rig. So, y'all get to see it, man. So, Thank you for rocking with the kid. So we're gonna go on into work right now, man. And um, and uh, I'm like, I'm, man, I'm feeling good, man. Co coffee already kicking in. Coffee already kicking in, man. I'm gonna show you a little bit on the yard, man. You know how the trucks them get loaded and 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 slumping down the truck, slumping down the concrete. So um, this is gonna be this is gonna be a little a, a different kind of video for y'all. So uh, stay tuned. Here we go, baby. Yeah. All right. We're back, baby. I'm here. Oh look, man! I got me a cat. I got me a cat, baby. You know what I'm saying? Got me a cat, man. So I'm on the yard right now, getting ready to uh, pre-trip the truck. And then when I'm done pre-tripping the truck, go up in the oh my man pulling up. Everybody pulling up now. It's like what? Tw it's about to be one o'clock. Beautiful night, y'all. Be look at this. Woo! Yes, sir. What up, boy? I know, man. I had to put my jacket on. Ain't no riding with the windows down this morning. Can't ride with the windows down this morning. Too damn cold. So, uh, about this job, man. So, this is a big warehouse that we're doing. We've been pouring on it now for the past couple of weeks. <laughs> Uh, we're pouring the inside um, foundation. It's cool because they add steel to the actual uh, concrete. Turn on my battery here. Turn my battery on. There you go. 
Uh oh, we got light. <laughs> Let that be light, man. That adds steel to the concrete, which is pretty cool. I ain't never seen that before. You know, we've had fiber, it's steel fiber, so we've had fiber before. I've seen that, but actually steel is pretty cool. So let y'all see what that looked like. Yes, sir. Here she is, man. Boom. We're going to do that. And we're going to lock. Oh, yeah. There go away, man. <laughs> going up to the office right now, man. It's the office, right? It's a slump right. This is where all you slump down. You got your water hose. That's where you do all your slumping down at, man. You know what I'm saying? What you doing, Raymond? What up, man? That boy don't play. So he wait. He first in line. Raymond trying to Raymond trying to get that 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 them loads going early. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is come down here and you come up on underneath here and you get loaded. And then the batchman sits in there. And he show you everything. You know what I'm saying? We got the load over there, Mr. Rose. So, and you back up right here. Stoop. You back up to this. I'm going to show you all. And you slump your truck down, standing up on this platform right here. And get that bad boy to the slump that they want. You know what I'm saying? Now, with concrete, it's... You got a certain amount, huh? Yeah. With concrete, you got a certain, so there's a certain amount of slump numbers. And the slump numbers let you know uh, how, how thick or wet the concrete is. For example, most jobs do like a four slump. And a four slump is, um, you know, it's, uh, it's almost like, uh, it's not too thick, but it's just perfect. It's like, it's perfect. Whenever you see concrete getting poured out on the side of the streets or something like that, doing a sidewalk or a driveway, that's pretty much a four slump. Now, <clears throat> if they're doing like slabs and stuff like that for big high rises, uh, big high rising buildings and stuff like that, normally they'll do it on like a six slump, sometimes a seven slump, and the concrete's a little wet because it has to travel through a pump truck and the pump truck will pump it to the different areas. So they want the concrete to be a little loose, easy to play with. So the higher the number, the wetter the concrete. The lower the number, the drier the concrete. So this job that we're doing down here, uh, we're gonna be pouring out right at like a five slump. They don't want no more than a, a five. So you got a teeter totty four, five. So that's what it's called, that's what it is, man. It's the batch office in here. Batman's office, man. You know what I'm saying? Eddie, that's our batch, man. Cool as hell. Eddie, my guy. You know what I mean? Eddie keep me rolling. You know what I'm saying? Eddie know I like to roll. You know what I mean? Eddie, my man. So we're going to go in here and uh, have him sign my DVR. You know my DVR. I got to fill this out. So I got to fill this out. Hand it to the batch, man. And then uh, we're good to go. Let's go. guys so check it out here we are man number fourth in line we got uncle phil we're all lined up getting ready to get loaded everybody's lined up so all your cement come out of there and it goes down into the back of the truck it goes down to the back of the truck you got conveyor belts that run everything in all right here goes the first load so he wanted the drum up, so the drum is speeding real fast right now, so that he can push everything to the front of the drum. Oh, there goes the water. Ooh, yeah. There it go. 
goes. Can y'all hear that? There it go. There go all your rocks. All right, so now he's loaded. He's going to back up all the way up to here. He's gonna wind the drum up so he can slump it down. So he's slumping it down now. Same thing, so that's pretty much it, man. And then we're gonna rock all night long. All night. There I go, guys. I'm getting loaded right now. Got water going in my tank because you're gonna need. And then we're gonna head to the site and we're gonna show y'all what these boys are doing to the concrete. My baby getting that steel fiber put in there. And we're pouring out inside of there. See all the trucks them inside of there? Back on up and pour on out and keep it moving, baby. Get that steel fiber right here, y'all. Put that steel fiber in the concrete. Just like that. It's gonna make the concrete real strong. So this is my first time where they put steel fiber and concrete, man. It's cool. That's what it looks like right here. So these little things, man, it's like rebar. Our concrete goes on rebar, makes the concrete real, 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 real strong. So these guys are in this warehouse gonna get a super nice floor, man. Super nice floor. So yeah, man, if y'all ever see concrete, if y'all never seen concrete have steel fiber put in it, this is it, man. This is what it looks like. Real thin. But real strong too, man. quick pour out man that crew in there they work pretty fast so they poured us out real good now we're finna go back to the yard and we're finna go get us another load man uh, now I'm gonna wash out the truck first though so uh, show y'all the wash out process real quick See my chute? Got my chute right there. I'm gonna lower my chute. Unlock it, let it slide over there real quick. Lock it back. Boom! There she go. My water on. Now the thing with I gotta climb this ladder, man. You know what I'm saying? Get my exercise on. <laughs> and we're gonna wash from the top to the bottom. Just like this here. There we go. Good water pressure. 
You gotta make sure your drums stay clean, man, on the inside, cause concrete will build up, and then when it build up on the on the fins on the blade, it won't um it won't hold concrete no more. So you gotta make sure you clean them blades off after each pour. Just like this here, you gotta clean them blades, man. Dang, it's windy out here tonight. So this is it, man. This is what I do. Of course, when I get off, I'm gonna see if I can catch me something rolling for y'all. Excuse the wind noise. So that was some steel fiber, man. You want your getting the house done, man. You want your uh your basement floor to be nice and solid, nice and strong. Oh, I just sprayed myself, y'all. Happens all the time. I hope my hose is sensitive, man. I always want to spray me. I ain't did nothing to you. Just cleaning off my chutes. Put them back on the truck. Then I'm gonna get another load. So I'm gonna get back to y'all, man, when it's daytime. And we're gonna see if we can get us a truck when I get off today, man. I really wanna thank y'all for watching. I'm gonna try and upload more often, man. It's just, as you can see, man, one thing at a time, you know what I'm saying? This job right here keep me pretty busy. Ooh. Get all them rocks. So yeah, man. Oh, one of y'all that asked um if I ever um loaded up out of um I think John's Creek. No, nah, I've never been out. I've never loaded up out of John's Creek, but I, I have loaded up out of Lawrenceville before. And I know that's pretty close to uh, John's Creek. Got to get up all up in here, man, because rocks be all up in here, man. But nah, man, if I ever load up in John's Creek, though, I'll let you know. You know what I'm saying? So this is it, man. I want to thank y'all, man, for rocking with the kid. Stay tuned, man. I got something cooking up for y'all, too, man. All my truckers, them out there. I got something cooking up, man. Yeah, baby. Just like that. I like to wipe off all these you see the thing with these shoots is the concrete build up on them guess what it becomes super heavy you wouldn't even think of it like over time man i've lifted up shoots man that's oh we good solid probably 20 30 pounds man all because it has build up on it you don't want no build up on your you don't want nothing to make your job harder in life man you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Just like that. Clean her up. This is the wash-up period, man. This is the wash-up process. Raise that bad boy up just like that. We're going to boom, unlock that boy. I just swing over, swing, baby, swing. And we're going to lock it right there. Yep. And bring it down. Boom, just like that. And we're going to grab it. And we're going to put it where it belongs, back on the truck. Then we're going to get us another load. I really enjoy this job, man. 
This is the first job I've ever had where I really enjoyed it, man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even, I ain't even at the point where I want to be yet. You know what I'm saying? I want to be in that peak, dog. For real, you see how I got a little build up right up there? See that? Got to get that out of there. Anything that, any form of concrete will dry up and make. There we go. Now we're gonna wrap our holes up, man. First, turn this off. It will squirt me, I don't want it to squirt me. And this is what D. Dyke be doing, man. Now we don't do night pours every night. This is just a big warehouse and they're just getting started on it. And we got the contract for it, so. Normally we start around like four in the morning or six in the morning and then we do it like that But night pours is in, it, it, it's very important we start early in the morning or the weed hours of the morning So that you can beat the traffic because with a warehouse job, they'd be ordering like Some crazy amount of yardage of concrete. I mean just for example Just today alone this morning alone. They want 300 and 90 yards to come down here 390 yards is a lot you can't move 300 you can but it's gonna take you all day but you can't move 390 yards during the day because you got traffic you got to deal with for the trucks them the concrete trucks going back and forth they will handle up for traffic so a nice like this everybody sleep When everybody sleep. When everybody sleep, you can run, get the loads, them, them yardage down quick. Boom, 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 just knock them out. And then the concrete cures throughout the rest of the day. I'll see y'all when sunrise. Check in back in with y'all when sunrise. Adios. guys I'm done for the day man hope y'all enjoyed that man it's now 1 30 so I like to go see if I can get me something for y'all thanks again for tuning in man I appreciate y'all y'all be safe out there love
can't work, baby. Woo!